Okay, in this video we are going to have a look at a feature now found in all major CAD tools that is the possibility to export a translated document as a bilingual word table. Deja Vu was the first tool to have it already back in the 90s in Deja Vu 3 and they call it External View. MemoQ introduced it in April 2010 with version 4.2 and they call it Two Column RTF. SDL Trader Studio first introduced the feature in December 2010 and at that time it was a plugin called SDL XLIF Converter for MS Office which was made by SDL themselves. Then in July 2012 they built that same feature directly into Studio with the release of Service Pack 2 for Studio 2011 and they now call it External Review. The last tool to get the feature was WordFast Pro in April 2012 with version 3.0 and they call it Bilingual Review. So we have External View, Two Column RTF, External Review and Bilingual Review, all different names but basically the same thing. Now let's have a look at the way this feature is implemented in each of the tools I just mentioned. For the purpose of this video, I will be using this recent press release from the EU and I will pretend I translate it from English into French with each tool. So let's start with uh, Deja Vu, which was the first tool to get this feature. So this is how the uh, EU press release looks like in uh, the, the editor of Deja Vu. If you're a little bit familiar with Deja Vu, you know that uh, Deja Vu can be quite heavy on tags if there's a lot of formatting documents such as here. Tags are these uh, grey little things uh, in between words. Uh, but this is not our concern today. Uh, we are going to export this uh, translated document as a, a bilingual word table. But before we do this, uh, let's have a look at something called segment status. In Deja Vu, it's located here, Edit, Segment Status, and there are four possible values, Pending, Finished, Do Not Send, and Locked. And this is going to be important uh, later on. So uh, most of our segments here have this uh, blue check mark, which means uh, they have the finished status. But for the sake of our exercise, I have uh, defined one segment, this one, as pending. So there's this li little question mark in uh, bubble. And also we can see that there are a few segments uh, that were fuzzy matches. For instance, this one was an 83-person fuzzy match. And I think there's another one earlier on here, which was a 96-person fuzzy match. So we should see this information in the report we are going to export. So this is done via the file menu and here export and here I will select external view. I will choose first a destination and by default uh, Deja Vu offers the name of the project and then adds the extension RTF. So I will accept this. And the other options, RTF, it's OK. I can choose whether I want to export only the current file or all files in a project, where here I only have one, so it does not matter. For selection, I can, the default is all segments, so I will accept that. And uh, sorting, I will also accept the default, which is natural. And the other values, I will keep them as they are. So I will include the segment ID and the segment status uh, about which I talked a few seconds ago. So let's press OK. Oh yes, and uh, the colors can be configured for pending segments and lock segments. But again, we will accept the default. OK. And close. And this is what uh, our exported uh, uh, document looks like. So the external view as Deja Vu calls it, it's a table with five columns, ID, source segment, target segment, 
comment and status. Well, comments we had none in this document. Status, this is what I mentioned earlier on. So here this green color means that we had uh, a fuzzy match in uh, uh, our original document. And if I go a little bit down, I can see this blue color indicates that I have a pending segment here. And if I go further down, I will find again the green color indicating that I had a fuzzy match. There is no numerical information about these fuzzy matches, so I don't know whether they were 96 or 83 percent. I can only see the color. The, if I look at the source and um, target columns, I can see that the codes, the little gray things in the editor of Deja Vu, they appear here with the same color and same font and same size as the rest of the text. And uh, if there are lots of them, such as in this segment, for instance, here, it can be a little bit difficult to read them because it adds some extra uh, content that is not really needed uh, from the point of view of the translation. So that's basically how uh, the feature works in Deja Vu. And uh, let's now switch to MemoQ. Okay, so here is what my EU press release looks like in MemoQ. And the editor of MemoQ, unlike uh, that of uh, Deja Vu, is uh, what you see is what you, is what you get, uh, WYSIWYG, for the main uh, formatting attributes. So I don't have uh, a single uh, tag in this document and all bold text look bold and so on. So I will now uh, export this translated document to a two column uh, RTF. And uh, for that, I will switch to the project home. I will select export bilingual and two column RTF next. Uh, by default, uh, comments are exported. Well, I don't have any in this document. And uh, so is uh, the segment status. Tags, they don't have uh, any relevance here because I didn't have any tag in this document. And uh, locked segments, they will be included, but I didn't have any locked segment uh, either anyway. So I will click on export. And by default, MemoQ will store the RTF uh, file in the same folder from which the original document was imported. So I will accept this. And here is what uh, the uh, exported RTF uh, file looks like. So in fact, it's not a two column document. It has uh, five column. The first one is the segment ID. Then we have uh, the source and target uh, columns. And then we have two columns for comments and uh, the status. And in the status column, I can see whether I had any fuzzy matches. And if so, I can also see the exact uh, percentage of uh, the match. And one interesting thing uh, that we can note is that the uh, the RTF uh, created by MemoQ is also, like in the editor, uh, fully what you see is what you get. So my bold text uh, look bold and so on. And MemoQ is the only tool uh, that is capable of uh, generating uh, what you see is what you get uh, document in Word. So that's basically the, the two column RTF in MemoQ. So now let's uh, switch to SDL Trader Studio. Now here is my press release uh, in um, SDL Trader Studio 2011. And like in MemoQ and unlike uh, Deja Vu, the editor is uh, fully what you see is what you get. So we have uh, bold text um, everywhere and we don't have uh, a single uh, tag inside uh, the editor. In order to export this uh, translated document uh, to an external review, I will select uh, File and Export for External Review. And Next. And here I have two possibilities for the layout. 
either top down or side by side. So side by side is the vertical layout used by all other tools. This is what I will do now and uh, Studio will export this into a folder that I will call here external review one and I will click on finish. That's it. And I will not open it uh, yet, so I will export it uh, another time using again export for external review and next. And this time I will select the top down uh, layout. And uh, Studio is the only tool that offers uh, such a layout. And uh, this time I will store it in a folder called external review 2. Finish. and it's okay. So here is uh, what the side-by-side -side layout looks like. We have uh, four columns. Uh, the first one is for segment ID, then we have a status column with uh, both the actual status and also in case of uh, matches uh, we have uh, the percentage of the matches, so either fuzzy or uh, exact matches and then we have uh, two columns for the actual source and target uh, segments. But unlike in uh, MemoQ, SDL Trader Studio does not use uh, what you see is what you get layout. So although in the editor we had uh, WYSIWYG here we have uh, tags for the formatting attributes uh, bold and so on. So it's in fact slightly more uh, difficult to read in heavily formatted uh, text. It's in fact easier to, to read inside Studio than in the exported uh, Word uh, review. Otherwise, it's uh, very similar to what we had in uh, Deja Vu and uh, MemoQ. So let's now switch to the other layout, which was the top down. So here is what uh, the external review with the top-down layout looks like. So we only have two columns, one uh, with both segment ID and segment status, and uh, the other one has uh, in each row we have both the source and target uh, segment. So it's a kind of a similar layout uh, to what we have in uh, Trudos Workbench or WordFast Classic. So for people who prefer to read their translations this way with a source on top and a target on bottom. This is possible to do it in Studio and Studio is the only tool that has this possibility for the exported word review. So let's now switch to the last tool which is WordFast Pro. So here is what my EU press release looks like in uh, WordFast Pro. Like in uh, Deja Vu and unlike MemoQ and uh, SDL Trader Studio, the editor of uh, WordFast Pro is not what you see is what you get. And uh, there are a lot of tags, uh, almost as uh, many as in Deja Vu. So for instance, here we can see in this particular segment, we have uh, 15 tags and there are these gray little things like in Deja Vu. But now let's see how to export the bilingual review. For that we have to switch first to the PM perspective. It's this little icon here in the corner and uh, under the PM perspective I will select the bilingual review tab. I will add the folder that contains my TXML file and uh, the txml file was here and I can then uh, export the bilingual review. Before that let's have a look at the options. By default for some reason uh, WordFast Pro excludes the notes column so if we had uh, uh, comments they would not be included by default. Well we don't have here so it uh, doesn't not matter and by default uh, WordFast Pro will enable track changes in the Word document we will soon obtain. That's about uh, the options we can uh, specify here. So let's export this review.
And here is what the bilingual review of WordFast Pro looks like. At the beginning, we have some instructions and uh, also some help with the colors and so on. And then we have the actual table, which has uh, three columns with first uh, segment ID and then the source and target uh, segments. And as we could expect, since we had the tags already in the actual editor, we also have the same tags in the exported uh, bilingual review in Word. Uh, the only difference is that the little gray tags have become uh, red in the bilingual review. But otherwise, the idea is the same. And uh, we can distinguish the fuzzy matches uh, with colors used in the source uh, segment. So we know that this uh, brown color here were, or yellow was uh, an above 50% fuzzy match. So otherwise very similar table as in the other tools. As a summary, let's have a look at uh, the word bilingual tables produced by each tool. Here we have the external view produced by Dejavu. Here we have the two column RTF produced by MemoQ. And it's the only one with uh, what you see is what you get layout. Here we have the first version of uh, SDL Trader Studio. Uh, external review, the one with the side-by-side -side layout, and this is the one with the top-bottom layout. And this is the bilingual review produced by WordFast Pro. And in a follow-up video, I will look at what happens when we actually re-import changes made to these tables back into the original tool. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful, subscribe to my channel for more similar content, and see you in the next video.